Hello YouTube, my name is Patrick and this is my channel 1984. Today I have three broken wood 2 cards here and uh, might be obvious what's broken on one of them. So I got these cards as uh, donor cards from a friend. I think he or someone he knew bought them as untested on eBay and he told me the pictures looked nice but they were untested so they were relatively cheap I suppose but uh, what he got was this and uh, well there's no point in testing these cards because uh, they're obviously broken if this isn't broken then I don't know what's considered broken this couldn't even list this untested this is straight up a rip off so take let's take a closer look at these cards and find out what's wrong with them so, like I said, the, the first card here, it's quite obvious, someone has ripped off the TMU, you got one here and one here. The wood 2 card has two TMUs, texture mapping units, so these are responsible for drawing the textures on the polygons. Down here we have the FBI ship, the frame buffer interface, it's responsible for basically drawing the image, and I think it might do some geometry too, so you can basically run only this ship if you want to, with no textures, and this would accelerate your 3D rendering. So on this card the problem is quite obvious with the missing TMU and the PCB is basically young because like 95% of the pads are missing and the traces. This TMU might be good but it's uh, it's got a beating because it's uh, twisted it's, uh, over to that side and I think over to that side so it's been twisted like so, but we might be able to use that. And this FBI ship here has uh, at least a couple of missing uh, pins. It might be possible to uh, remove some of the epoxy capsule here to solder some wires on. I know people have done it. I have done it to other ships, so that could be doable to save this ship as a donor, maybe. But yeah. The PCB is junk, so maybe the memory is good, they look fine visually. And then we have this card here, which is quite dirty. Problem with this card is that uh, both TMUs and FBI is missing pins, so they're all basically trashed. So we have some damage here. We got the missing legs here. And we got... Uh, once again, missing legs and missing legs. And on this TMU over here, the same missing. So this card has no good ships really, other than maybe memory. They might be fine. So this card is potentially a candidate to put some new TMUs on and an FBI ship. Well, new but used ones from some one of the other cards. So yeah. And all the cards has horrible corrosion everywhere, so that's also an issue. And then we got the last card here, which is uh, quite dirty too, also a lot of corrosion. And this TMU here, other than being dirty, seems to have all the pins intact, so that's a good one. Uh, this TMU is falling off. Uh, this FBI ship has some bent pins. Uh, but it might, might be able to straighten out, so I'm not sure it has any broken pins, like broken off, so maybe a good donor. We got some minor damage here, could probably fix. And yeah, this TMU looks fine, it's a lot of corrosion now, but uh, we could uh, reflow the pins and before we remove a ship, for example. Uh, this TMU is about to come off, uh, let's see here if I can show you here the problem here, yeah, this is the problem. This ship is coming off, and it's the gap is like one one and a half millimeters. It's not a small gap. It goes at least halfway down on both sides, and uh, I think the reason it's coming off is because the whole PCB is quite twisted. See so if you can see that. So the PCB is twisted, so it should be more like so. But it's not. It's one reason this PCB is probably junk, 
you might not be able to see, but it, it actually is a small crack in the ship. So this ship is cracked, this memory ship is bad. And uh, I think, yeah, this one here has a big crack straight through it. So it's probably, if I were to desolder this, it would probably fall into pieces. So this card has been uh, twisted or something really badly. It's cracked memory ships, uh, TMU is about to fall off. So the, the PCB on this might be good, but it's not straight, um, so it could maybe be used to populate with some new ships. And because it has a decently well-preserved FBI ship and one team, it was my first candidate, but then I realized like the PCB is quite, quite bad shape. So my plan is actually to try to straighten out the pins on the F FBI ship here and make sure this is one that's also good and remove those use for another card which would be this one then and I think we start with this one and remove those two team use in this FBI ship because they're all young so clean this card up and the reason why is I want to find out if the pads are intact uh, where they're missing so we don't have ripped traces like uh, this one so yeah I think that's the plan and then try to get uh, the TMU, the, the right one off here, and put here, and uh, get this TMU, I think this one here, and put on here, and yeah, also get this uh, FBI here, and then if we have to, if these memory ships are bad, we might take these ships off and put on this card, so the idea here is if you you probably got it now, is to try to build one working card. There, there might be enough part to build one, but uh, <laughs> well, let's post the only one way to find out if that's doable is to try to do it. So that's gonna be the project. I have uh, the card where we want to remove all the ships, the two TMUs and FBI, because they're all broken. And I want to use this card, this PCB, for the one we're gonna try to build. So I will add some flux, just to help a bit here, moving them. Because if uh, this PCB checks out to be good, along good enough to be saved, we will use it. Otherwise the bent one is the only option. So we need to get these ships off to inspect the pads and traces for the ships. And uh, if there's some trace damage uh, pad missing, we could probably fix that. So now we're gonna get the hot air out here and start removing the ship. So I need to clean up the pads here. So 
So I'm gonna thin my tip pair, make a blob, and then just go over them. So we're gonna wick the pads now, so they're clean. A lot of dirt on this card, so I think it's been outside or something in the weather. Not good for you, the two. Pretty sensitive to moisture and stuff. They seem to corrode a lot if they're not stored indoors in te room temperature. The decent humidity. Usually with the tools that I have fixed, I had problems that were around the, the ships here. It's due to corrosion. Like if your car has glossy pins, it usually means it was well stored. So, I'm gonna remove this from the hot plate here. So, some things fell off. Uh, a resistor bridge here, one is on the side and there's some stuff on the side here. We won't care about that right now. Our goal is to get some ships on and once we have that we can sort out any stuff. Loose or missing, there are already stuff missing so we have to do SMD component repair and replacement anyways. So right now the goal is to get some ships on and hopefully they work. So here is the card and we do have some damaged pads here so next is to remove a, hopefully a good TMV for this donor here it's the one that is bent sideways so probably gonna have to spend some time sorting out the pins later So, time to remove Team U and the FBI ship.
So I have the TMU, I think it is under the microscope. Uh, so yeah, I need to clean it up because it's very dirty. So our good two card is on the on the microscope here. I can't zoom out anymore. So I'm gonna put the ship on here is the plan. Gonna add some flux first. So I think we're just going to have to put it down in a corner here and try to align it on the other corner side, opposite corner. We don't care about bridges or anything like that right now. What we care about is getting it in the right position, then we can clean, clean it up. So I'm just trying to bend the pins into place here, closer to where it should be. Problem is with donor parts like this, is that they're not new, so everything is off tolerant. So the ship says they have been abused, knocked around, the pins have been bent. So I want to do this to make sure we have less chance of a solid bridge when we drag solder all of it. So this thing seems to be way off. <coughs> 
Yeah, and they're severely bent. There's the road is severely bent, so we have have to unbend all of that. So we're ready to solder it into place. So it's time to place the last uh, TMU here before we do the FBI. So on it goes. Hopefully this lines up better than the other one. I don't think this one is crooked anyway.
have parachute now. Mark with a CK, the other ones are marked with a DE. So now that we have uh, all three ships in place, we have some damage we need to fix here. Missing stuff. Supposed to be a cap here.
it has some damage in the back here. They're probably gonna not make the card work. I suppose they do something these capacitors and resistors. So I'm gonna have to take some from a donor card. And we have plenty of donor cards, it seems. So we're ready to power this up. The Voodoo 2 card is over here. We got 2D card over here, and that's because I want to use the capture card later to capture the image. But right now we're gonna do a should we call it post test, and then I'm gonna hook up the hook up. Well, I'm gonna install the drivers, but then I'm gonna hook up the capture card if that the drivers installed. The card is detected the drivers installed, so time to power the thing on. So multimedia device slot one and that is slot one so that works so far. But the Voodoo 2 being detected isn't that uncommon. You can have a lot of broken stuff on it and being detected. So that should be the Voodoo 2, yeah. Drive is already installed on the system. I have uh, Voodoo, Rush, Voodoo 2 and Bench drives I think is installed. It's like my lab hard drive and motherboard, so sometimes I install it, but it's a lot of drivers installed, so. 800 by 600, okay, so now that works fine. So I'm gonna hook up the capture card here. Let's see. Here we are in the machine, huh? So let's check out the Voodoo 2 here now. A lot of ghosts in here, it's not ideal, could be the Voodoo 2, we tend to pretty poor quality around X2, not that it's playing now, but it's uh, passed through the cable and everything too. So let's check here, 
Frame buffer four megabytes. That's full texture memory is two. Eight megabytes of texture memory. So the card is detected as a twelve megabyte with two with two texture unit. So that's okay. So let's run something like a game. Oh, wait, I think. I played two here. Well, it runs, but it looks like two. Uh, looks like a texture problem to me. Uh, if you look at the gun, I don't know if we can pause here. Uh, well, we can look at the menu here. So you see where there are like black dots in my pattern, repeating pattern. That's That could be like loose pins on the team user RAM, or it could be something broken with either of them, but that is basically lost bits. So I've seen this problem with uh, pins on the team user being loose. So you can see the same thing on the guns, like these black dots. There's, there's a that looks like a like a dead uh, like data line or something. You see it on the floor too. So uh, it looks like texture problem problem we have, but the card runs, so that's uh, better than three completely dead cards, I suppose. But we have issues to resolve, that's for sure. So can we test? So we could make a simple test because I want to know if the problem is TMA related only or if there are any other issues. So I have a demo I wrote myself some time ago. I'm not a programmer. Just... But it was a fun project to make. Let's see here. Steam and new version open those. So this was a demo I made just to figure out if I could do uh, it. Do basically multiple draw calls in one. So, open GN. Well, the the intro is texture, so it artifact me some weird. But this demo is running now. It's a bit slow because it's way too high on polygons for V2. And it's obviously written by me, so not maybe not optimized. Uh, it's more suitable for Geforce 256 or something. But it's untextured in demo, so it only doesn't use TMU, it uses the frame buffer ship uh, for like geometry and drawing the image. So the fact that this looks artifact free tells me that FBI ship on RAM is probably fine. So I suspect there are issues with maybe the RAM. Because it abused all these cards, we're not that surprised that we have issues. And mm, Quake. See how that looks. It only uses one TMU. I can disable one in Quake 2 too by disabling multi texturing. And we do have artifact near too. It's not that bad, but it's only using one of them. So yeah, I do think we have some eye broken RAM or some, maybe some trace damage or something. You can obviously check all the soldering joints on the ships again. I did check them all before and I can't find any ones that are loose or anything. And any suspects I checked. So yeah, I suspecting RAM or the team used to put on a bed, which is, wouldn't be surprising either considering the state of the cards. So yeah, I think we need to look at the cards here, obviously do something. So, my plan here is to remove the backside texture RAM. That will uh, reduce our uh, texture RAM to half, make this an 8 megabyte card instead of a 12. It will give us less RAM to deal with for troubleshooting.
I cleaned up some dirt here from the card before. So I was a lot, lot worse before. So, back here in Windows. So we have 4 megabytes now on texture memory of 8, so that's an 8 meg card now. Uh, let's see here, Quake. So it's artifacting even more now. So, no real improvement, I can't say. Quite the opposite, so maybe the memory is under the side is the really bad one. So, how is Quake 2? I think multi texture is turned off, so it's using one GP right now. We can go gear. Texturing one. Could use both TMUs now. Yeah, so still the same as before. There's no real improvement here. It's a bit different, but there's no improvement. So I think we just have to take the rest of the memory off and uh, put some new memory on from a donor card and see if that helps. So we're gonna add the memories back, the donor ones. So we have a partially working card now, and it wasn't the RAM. I didn't film because I was quite frustrated putting on the new RAM. It was artifacting just like before. So I took the card out and went over all the pins on the both TMUs again. And now we have one working TMU. So I disabled multi texturing. So you can enable it again. Do a bit of restart, and it's, the artifacting is back. But you can see some parts aren't artifacting as much. So it uh, seems like the TMUs are still causing problems. And my capture card doesn't really want to play along here, but so I'm back to one TMU again. So we have one TMU working, and I'm gonna measure the temperature with the infrared here to figure out which TMU it's actually running on. So I know which one to focus on. So the TMU. At the back of the card where the VGA connectors are about 10C hotter than the rear ones, so I think the, that's the good one, uh, the one at the back. So we need to focus on the TMU, so the front of the case it would be. So let's do that and uh, see if we can get it working, but it seems like I replaced the memory for nothing other than gaining experience doing it. 
which cannot nice anyway, but uh, unnecessary in this case. But uh, I suppose if you want to upgrade an 8 meg card to 12, it's good to practice on some young cards. And this still looks like we have some artifacting. Yeah, we have to just keep going over stuff. There's no rainbow puke flickering anymore. And I found out what's ca what caused the flickering, so we're gonna have a look at that. So here we have a card. And uh, yeah, there were two problems. I did try a third TMU here and uh, also swap this around and try this one. And uh, that didn't make any difference for the artifacting. Also replaced the FBI ship we put in first and uh, that made no difference. Also because I didn't have one that had f all the pins, I had to put two new pins in there. Uh, and I like I replaced the RAM and uh, removed the RAM at the back. Been all over the card. All SMD caps, resistors measured them. The resistor erase everything. And I was pretty much dumbfounded. Uh, eventually, I was like, "What's wrong?" Because if it's not the ships and the, like the team use FBI RAM, is it the PCB? And you know, what is it? So eventually. Because I noticed if I touched uh, the back side of the RAM, this side here, and I noticed that when I got the card working the first time, like working, like detected running, but the artifacting that if I touched the memory at the back side before I removed it, it was flickering. The, the artifacting started to flicker. And the same thing when I removed these. So I noticed when I touched, uh, I think, uh, let's see here like the pins over here this row here and they go over to this resistor array here there's a blue one now but really no ones are black and i have measured this this is supposed to be 10 ohms and the resistor array is just a bunch of resistors in one capsule so they're not connected but they are in parallel for a space saving so uh, I ha and I had resoldered it, like uh, drag soldered it to make sure the solder joints were good. And the reason I also do that is because if they are cracked, usually on the corners, that corner will fall off. But that didn't happen. So, so what I did was I touched this thing on the up top side. It goes to memory. And the card would start to flicker. If I touched it on the bottom side, it goes to the team. It wouldn't. So I was like, okay, fine. It's easy enough to replace. So. I took the hot air and the thing fell apart. So it's uh, had a cracked corner. Put a new one in there, plus I replaced any other SMD stuff around it. And that flicking disappeared. And uh, yeah, now we have a working card. So that stupid thing over there that measured final multimeter. And I was like pondering since yesterday why I measured it good multiple times. And it might be that when I poke it, it internally gets good contact, but as soon as I'm not measuring, applying any force at all to it, the actual problem might show up, so could explain it. But anyway, that thing caused all the problems with this TMU here. So when we're running in Quake with the uh, multi-texturing office, it seems to be running off this ship here. So yeah. And I suppose the advantage of having this FBI ship on here now with the fixed two pins and solder in here is that I have a probably a good other one spare for another car. Plus, I got a spare TMU now when I tested all of the ones I could possibly save. Also, all the RAM is probably good, so replacing the RAM wasn't really needed. But there was a lot of gunk under it and a lot of corrosion and stuff, so I suppose that it didn't hurt. So what we're gonna do now is actually put the RAM back on the back. We can go to our wooded 2 card here. And check the memory. We've got 4 MB of frame buffer, 8 MB of texture, so 12 in total. And we can run a game, say we run... Can run Quake 3. 
done that. Well, I have, but I haven't showed it. And the reason I like to run Quake 2 is because we can basically max out the card. So this is in tune for performance. I set the texture memory to about there. Over that, it's not enough on the card, so it lags unnecessarily when it swaps in and out. But yeah. So these, these seconds are not quite high for this card. And light map was glitching before, like in Quake 2. And uh, Vertex didn't, so. Light map is on. And go fight here. So the frame rate isn't the best because of light map and the uh, detailed sky is on. We can tweak it for performance if we want. But right now I just want to uh, run at high settings so we know the card is working properly. Got the setup systems now. We can change that to say vertex, it's faster. So, yeah, card is working. So, we're almost done with the card. We need to put on like the iron shield and uh, conform and coat some of the repairs. So that will be next. Uh, as you can see, this ram here. And the next thing for this Voodoo 2 is to get rid of these corroded EDA connectors and uh, the corroded, uh, uh, slightly corroded but uh, scratched up and beat up uh, SLI connector. So. I'm gonna start by removing the VGA connectors. So to make sure they don't uh, get soldered in again later when I'm trying to get uh, the connector loose, I'm gonna use hot air to remove the connectors.
So, we're ready for some new connectors here. So I'm just gonna tack this into place uh, so I can get the what it's called to offload the tension and the force here. These things need to go on. Just gonna put a nut in here so it stays where it's supposed to be. I bought a few flop connectors and I did connect this one I did my Mac E4. Figure good to have and you can get quite cheap. This is like the cheapest one. I think I don't remember the cost, but and it wasn't needed if you replace it, but you know, it was the plastic was so scratched up and so on. I just figured it would if we're gonna put all this effort in, why not make it as good looking as possible? Doesn't have to look new, but uh, I do like my stuff looking clean and uh, proper. So I just tack them in the corner and shake so it's flush, so we don't end up with a crooked one. So. One of the last things to do now before we call the card finished is to conform and code some of the repairs we did. So I did put on a FBI ship that had some missing pins. So I want to make sure these don't get loose by accident. So I will put on some conform and coating in this area here. You can buy this on eBay. And then we will use UV light to harden it. This this one I bought is completely transparent. This be becomes like clear ice. Well, it takes a while for it to completely harden, so it's not particularly good for like in the middle of a repair. But at the end, it's very nice. It has no pigments. And was a broken off, uh, a partially broken pad here. So I had to push the pin in on the ship to make it uh, adhere to the pad there. That did work fine. So a small dab there. And we harden that. So 
think there are some semi loose pads over here because this were a place where the ship the PCB was damaged uh, due to someone basically running a screwdriver I think into the ship so I'm gonna put some there too before we can call this card finished we have this higher shield to mount I may I cloned uh, another one from another Voodoo 2 I had a blank one uh, so we're gonna put that on but we're gonna need that first Hopefully this one fits now, I made. So there is our completed Voodoo 2 12 megabyte card. I think I'm gonna call this the Frankenstein's Voodoo 2 card because it was revived from the dead and it's made up, made up of donors. So I think that's suiting. So we turned these dead cards into one working card. We got uh, one FBI with all pins intact, the one TMU with all pins intact that are working. We have a set of uh, 12 uh, module, memory modules and we have three very dead ships here. I miss a lot of pins. I suppose we could fix them in theory but that's way too much work. And uh, these are going to someone who was going to make, make a YouTube video about 3D effects. He wanted them or something so they're gonna get shipped off so yeah thank you for watching and have a nice day we are going to host a public retro land party in sweden on the 4th of february 2022 so if you'd like to join us you can go to braindrainland.tk and join our discord or check out our facebook page for updates on tickets you can also check uh, the link in the description to Victor Bart. He made a very nice YouTube video last time he visited us. If you want to follow us, you can go to our social media webpage braindrainland.tk and pick your favorite platform. Link is in the description. You can join us on our Discord server. We host public lands when possible and game nights on our server hosting many old classical multiplayer games like Quake, Counter Strike and much more. Or you can show off your own retro lawn or maybe visit our members' private LAN parties. We have a galleries, benchmark channels, where you can post images, videos of your retro hardware and your scores and much more. So come and join us and share your retro experience with us. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.